Hey gang, Shane Patrick White here and welcome to Beyond the Process. Are you a digital or traditional painter who wants to get more <clears throat> punch out of their colors? Then you're in for a real treat. Moving beyond the basics of color temperature, I'm going to demo two head portraits in both warm and cool lighting scenarios. This is easily one of the most important ways to level up your color theory. By the end of the video, you'll have a solid grasp on applying these lessons in your own work. You ready to paint? Then sit back, relax, and enjoy the process. Today I'll be using a demo version of Rebel 7. In learning, it is my belief that repetition is helpful in making information stick even more so by doing things again and again. If you remember from my last video, I talked about color temperature, where cool light will create warm shadows and warm light will create cool shadows. For today's demos, I'm making up a female head and getting right down to mixing my palette as if I were using real paint. I like to do this in both digital and traditional media as it helps me keep focus. For clarity, I established the light source, but it's not technically the color of the light that I'm judging all my colors by. Sure, you could go through and add filters and layers, but then you'd only know how to think like a technician and not how to think like a painter. What I learned early on in my painting career was that if your color mixing looks organized on the palette, then your painting will be more successful as you will search less for the color mix and keep everything moving along smoothly. As my friend and great painting teacher, Henry Stinson is fond of saying, it takes paint to paint. So be generous in your color mixes. As you can see, I tackle blocking in my biggest shapes first with a big brush. My goal is to block in the entire head so that I can make adjustments. Painting only gets better when you paint from life. There's no two ways about it. Even when you make stuff up, find real-world equivalents, reference, and the like to build believability into your work. At some point, your mental library will have adequate recall to be able to tackle more of the basic things just from memory alone, which is really helpful with changing lighting scenarios. Because I've shot thousands of photos painted from hundreds of life models, I have a fairly good sense of how the color is distributed across the face. This level of technical proficiency will serve you well as you become a better artist. As a finishing move, I work with smaller and smaller brushes and allow myself to zoom in a little. I'll also go in and cut away at the image, utilizing negative space to sharpen the shapes and add more distinguishing marks. Now let's start from the beginning and take a look at a warm lighting setup with cool shadows. I'll indicate the light direction using yellow, even though that isn't the exact color of the light. Again, I tackle the big shapes, but this time I work in the shadow areas first, which I should have done the first time around. Working in the shadows gives you a strong grounding to unify those dark shapes and then to judge your lighter values against them.
Because I'm not looking at a model or reference, I can only compare the colors to the shadow temperatures and to other areas of the face. Because this is a demo, these two images may be my color studies for a final piece, where I would then go about finding reference or a model and work out an illustration. Worth noting is the color black. Like white, it is highly influenced by color temperature. Lighting it warm or cool can show you exactly how much color is really there for having no chroma. Finally, a side-by-side -side will show you the differences in the color passages from warm to cool. I would encourage anyone who wants to understand color temperature to set up a still life for themselves and paint it twice, once under warm light and once under a cool light. You will be amazed at what is afforded to you in your painting journey. I hope you enjoyed this color theory demo and learned something along the way. Remember, if you're not having fun, you might be putting too much pressure on yourself. Start over and try again. I do it all the time. Thanks again for joining me today. If you found any value in this, hit the like button. Better yet, subscribe or tell a friend. Until next time, thanks for watching.